Guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to make a charcuterie board. Now, you can use any timber material you want for this, just make sure that it's food safe. In our workshop, we have so much commercial waste and we always have bits lying around. We found this piece of wood here, Zebrano, as you can see, it's off cuts from the machine, it's got writing on it, it doesn't matter. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna put this in our CNC machine and we're gonna design an organic shape on the laptop. We'll tell the CNC to carve it out and then we'll laser engrave a detail on. As you can see, this timber here is 40 millimeter thick. It's really, really, really heavy and it would be too heavy to carry with food to the dinner table. So I am going to machine it down 12 mil, take some of the scrap off of it. Then we're gonna cut the shape, like I said, make the handle. We'll then router the edges to leave a nice finish. We'll laser it and then we'll sand it. And then we're ready for oil and that's it, job done. So on the laptop, we're gonna design this shape. Now I don't want it to be uniform. It's, it's not my style, it's not what I do. You can do it at home if you want. You can design any shape you like. But for me, I want it to be asymmetrical, a bit funky, a bit different. And I will do the design for that now. Now, as you can see here, I've just made a funny little quote, sweet dreams are made of cheese. It's just something funny for the video. Um, and we've just taken a design. Now, I would love for you to think that I made this design all by myself, so on and so forth, but we use Shutterstock quite a lot. Shutterstock has got so much vector images on it that you don't need to sit for five, six hours and design something like this. It cost us a couple of quid, we downloaded it, we added it to what we wanted it to say, and then we've superimposed it onto here. So now that I have my design, it's time to put that onto the machines. So guys, this is our CNC machine. Not only will this machine do uh, 2D profile cuts, cutting things out, it'll also do 3D carving as well. For today's video, we're just gonna do a 2D profile cut. It's 1325 mil wide by two and a half meter long. So it can take quite a lot of material in this machine. All I'm gonna do is fix the board that we have here onto the plywood sheet with these battens. And all that's for is to stop it moving when we're carving out. We'll skim it down, so effectively we're gonna take 12 millimeter off the surface. Now I know you hardcore woodworking guys are gonna say, well why did you not just split it down the middle with a bandsaw? The short answer is, the upholstery workshop is really busy today and we're gonna do it on this machine just to save time. So I'll screw this down, we'll centralize the machine and then we'll start the process. So now that we have it tied down, we need to mark the center point of the board and that's so the machine knows the center of where it needs to cut. So we've programmed the machine to follow the shape that we've designed on the computer, but it'll only do so if we tell it where the center of the material is that we're gonna cut out. So on this machine, we can control the movement of the full machine from the controller. I'm gonna bring the router bit here to the center of the timber so that the machine now knows where to start the job. I'm just doing micro adjustments now, just to tell the machine where the exact center point of this timber is. Now, some of you guys at home will be saying, well, how does it know how deep to cut? What we do is that we touch the tip of the cutter on the surface of the material, and then we tell the machine that that's the surface. So you are now touching the surface of that timber. Then, when we tell the machine to dig down 10, 20, 30 millimeters, it now knows from the surface and it counts down the way. And that's how we get it bang on. Now the machine's finished, we have our blank. So now that we have finished cutting this out on the CNC router, you can see there's lots of fluffy bits, there's tear out. And if you look really, really closely, you can see the tool path marks. And that's where the, the router's been cutting with the grain, against the grain. And you'll always get that with a CNC router. So what I need to do now is I am going to sand all of this off, make the board nice and smooth, get rid of the machining marks. And then I'm gonna use a router, a handheld trimmer, and I'm gonna round over all the edges so they're nice and smooth. When I'm sanding it, I'm gonna use these. Now I always show you guys the products that I use. It's not because 
we're sponsored by them, it's because we genuinely believe they're the best products on the market. These Abronet pads, if you look, you can see through them. They're effectively a mesh. So these sanding discs are absolutely amazing. When you use one of these pads, they last a lifetime. You spend a little bit more money on these Merca Abronet pads, but they last so much longer, the finish is better, and you just get an overall better product. So today we're gonna use these. First of all, I'm gonna use 120. When I'm finished using the 120 pads, I'm then gonna go on to the 240 grip. That'll give us a nice smooth finish. We'll then laser engrave onto the board right here, and we'll put on the board the design that we prepared earlier. And then we'll UV print my logo here. A coat of oil, job done. Now that this has finished being sanded, we took it from 120 straight up to 240. It's nice and smooth now. But what I want to do is, I want to round the edges of it. It's a bit sharp and square, so we're gonna round it with one of these. This is just a round over bit. And I'm just gonna set the bit so that when it cuts here, we only, we only want the curve. We don't want the step in it. So I'll set the depth in the router. We'll run round the edges, and then we're ready for a laser engraving. Now, as you can see, the router has rounded all of the edges on this timber, but it's also left a bit of tooling marks. So now we'll sand it again with the 240 just to get rid of these marks, nothing more. Now we're finished and you can see, look how super smooth that is. So we've taken it right up to 240. We've rounded all the edges. Now we're beginning to get a proper charcuterie board ready for laser engraving. The board is now inside our laser engraver. We've set the machine up and we're ready for engraving. I've set the center point to the center of the area that I would like the engraving to be in. We'll close the lid. We'll send the file from the laptop and we're ready to engrave. Now that the machine's finished, as with all laser engraved wood, it always leaves that resin marks. So we're gonna sand it, oil it, job done. Now that we've sanded it, you can see all the resin's gone. The engraving is nice and crisp. It's nice and dark. Sanded to 240, so it's really, really smooth. All I want to do is blow it with the air gun, make sure there's no nastiness, no dust in the engraving before we apply the oil, and then we're finished. So, I'm gonna lift this up. We're gonna rub it with a cloth just to prepare it, make sure there's no nastiness in it. And like always, I always use this product on the um, bare wood or natural wood. It's just a hard wax oil hybrid, perfect for what we need. Two coats, one coat, apply it, leave it for 15, 20 minutes, rub off the excess. After three hours, buff it, apply another coat, and then you're finished. After the 15, 20 minutes, you can buff it dry, and then this is ready for use. You can see now how much the grain pops. Just comes straight out of you when you apply this oil. Your first coat will always need quite a lot of wax, purely because the grains in the timber are open and they soak up like a sponge when you apply it. So make sure you always put in a really thick coat of oil on the first pass. And then on the second pass that you're gonna do, your finishing pass, you'll only need a, a light coat. So now this is gonna sit for 15 to 20 minutes. We'll let the wax sink into the timber. We'll buff off the excess, and then we're ready for the second coat. So this has now had its second coat of oil. We've left it for approximately three hours, and as you can see, it's pretty much dry. So I'm just gonna buff it with a rag, 
take up a nice shine, and then we're on to the next step, which is UV printing my logo here. So these rolling printers are extremely intelligent, and what we can do with them is we can print in different layers. So what I'm gonna do on this one is a couple of layers of white to give me contrast, a color layer, and then we're gonna go a clear coat on the top, and we can do both matte or gloss. In this instance, I'm gonna do gloss. So now that that's finished the color coat, we'll give it a gloss just to protect the ink and then it's finished. So thanks for watching the video. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also to hit the bell button. If you would like to win one of these boards, then head over to our Instagram page, Alan Smith Designs, and you can be in with a chance of winning one custom made for you. I'll see you soon.